Well, good afternoon, everyone. It's Annette here, Fairy Dust Nails again. And like I promised one of our Facebook uh, friends, I will make this video specially for her. Um, she wanted to know how to do an easy uh, uh, Christmas bauble nail. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do. For all the beginners out there, this is for you. Okay, so... The normal prep for any nail for a customer would apply. But seeing that this is a tutorial, we are going to use a sample nail. I'm just putting my magnet one side. Um, and just to make it very, very easy, I'm going to take, we call it Classic Collection C44 from Glam Pro. It's, it's a beautiful dark red. And we're just going to uh, paint this nail. Two coats, of course. Red is a highly pigmented color, so please do it thinly so that it cures properly and then you have a very, very nice coverage with the second layer. And so, now we're going to put on uh, the second layer this is an absolute gorgeous red Okay, that is done. So now I'm going to take my silver spider gel and show you an easy way how to make the strings for the baubles to hang on. I'm just going to take my little dotting tool. Just make sure that it's stirred properly. As you can see, very, very sticky. So I'm going to take the first one down to where we want it to go and straight back on the same track. First line is done. I think what we're going to do is have a, a nail with three baubles on it. There we go. This one will be a little bit shorter. Track back exactly. And break off the string. Picking up a little bit. There we go. Track back. And break off the string. And as you can see, there we've got three very, very straight lines. Next, I'm going to take a normal silver gel. Very thin brush. And draw a little bauble. As round as possible. Now we're going to go on to the next one. You can also draw these strings with a normal liner brush. It's all up to you on what you find the easiest. Trying to get them all basically the same size. That's it. That is done. 
So of course, now we're gonna cure. And now I'm just gonna take my brush with a bit of black gel paint. And I'm just gonna draw a little bow. make the strings hang down like that while we're waiting for that one to cure I'm just going to take another nail and we're going to cover it with a white gel again the same thing counts highly pigmented gel so thin layers. See that I'm dragging most of it down with my brush. Now we're going to cure this one and take the other one out. Okay, so now just for the fun of it and to fill up a little bit of the background space, I'm going to put three dots there. Like that. Take a very, very thin, small brush, put it in the middle of the dot, and pull up. Put it in the middle of the dot, pull down. Same thing, side and side. Then you make like little sparkles. And there we go. Easy bobble nail done. Okay, so with a white nail, take your spider gel. Same thing counts. String, take it to the middle of the nail. Where do you want to take it? And track back and break off okay now that your string is there we can take some of the silver gel and this is going to be one so you're going to make a nice big one It doesn't have to be perfect, but try and get it as round as possible. There we can put a little bit more. This bauble can have a little bit of a piece up there. Good stuff. Now, just to give it a little bit of definition, I've taken a tiny drop of black with my top coat and I've mixed it so that I can have this kind of a see-through dark bit of a gel. Maybe just give it a little bit of a, a touch. Just 
just to give it a tiny bit of a shadow. Like that. And now for the red. The red bow, we're going to put on a red bow. I'm just taking a bit of paint on my little, I call it a palette. I've got a little plate that I put all my little gels on. Clean brush. And we're going to go in from there. First part of the bow. And second part of the bow. It's like a sideways turned heart. Two strings going down. This is of course of the ribbon. Like that. We're going to We're going to go in now with a very thin brush and a tiny bit of black paint on this brush. I'm going to start off by doing this. Just giving it a little bit of a outline. I'm just going to take the brush and pull in one or two little folds. And I think it's time for a bit of sparkle. Just to have a good contrast of colour, I'm going to make that one black. A few sparkles. Let's make another one. And we're going to cure this and this nail is done. And while that one is curing, now the easiest one of them all. Red paint and we're going to give this man a hat. Now we're going to go in with flesh color right next to the red. I'm so out of frame and I'm so sorry. Um, there we go. Let's cure this quickly. Let's go in with a second coat on all of it. Second 
second coat on that one. I'm going to show you the trick for that. Let's go in with a second coat of the skin color. And we're going to cure this quickly. Okay, so I've quickly dotted in some eyes, given him some rosy cheeks and a little bit of a lip. Um, while I get the glitter, this little oak is going to cure so long. This is the glitter that I'm going to use just to give it a little bit of an effect. Okay, I've put down a little piece of paper. I'm going to mess on the paper and all the ones that's left, I'm going to... Um, actually just throw back into little jar okay so let's go on there we go now i'm gonna take the white and i'm gonna put a little bit on my plate Not very straight, doesn't have to be. I'm just giving him a little bit of a, a fur around the hat. And then of course, the beard can't be too straight because it's normally very fluffy like that then I'm also going to give him a moustache like that and it's going to cool out like that okay now we put in the rest of the white Not too thick layer. And now, I normally saw my take with my hand and sprinkle it over. Just giving it a very light pat so that the glitter actually does go into the gel. Shake off the excess. And of course, now I'm going to cure again. And there he is done. Now, the last thing I want to show you is I just want to give him nice softer eyes because he looks very scary. So... We're going to just give him two little dots like that. And now for the trick. I'm just going to take a tiny little bit of cover pink and a monomo. And just to help him out a little bit. I mean, he should be done. I think he's looking great. I'm thanking you all so much for watching. Hope this helped you a little bit. For the beginners, always easy tutorials coming up from my side. Just to let you know that I've been doing nails for over 21 years. And uh, I think it's a battle to be a beginner. And especially if you don't know where to go or where to get advice from. 
let me assure you, my channel, you can send me any question or anything you want to know or anything you want me to show you and I'll try my utmost best to do it for you. Have a fantastic day and I'll put revealing pictures at the end. Cheers guys! Bye bye!